So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in services, click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on any service one time and then click on F on your keyboard. Now you're gonna find function discovery resource publication. Double click on it. Change the startup type to automatic and then click on start, which will then make the service status running and then click on okay. And now you're gonna click on S on your keyboard. You wanna find SSDP discovery. Now we're gonna scroll down till we find SSDP discovery. Here it is, double click on it. And then do the same thing, startup type, automatic, and then click on start, which will then make the service status running, and then click on okay. And now you're gonna click on U on your keyboard. You're gonna scroll down till you find UPnP device host. Double click on it. And now do the same thing, startup type, automatic, and then click on start, which will then make the service status running, and then click on okay. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search and type in manage advanced sharing settings. Click on it. And then once we're on this, we're gonna expand private networks. Make sure you have network discovery turned on. Set up network connected devices automatically ticked. And then you're gonna turn on find and printer sharing. So turn on everything here on the private networks. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search and type in turn Windows features on or off. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna scroll down till you find SMB 1.0 CIFS file sharing support. You wanna expand this. And now you wanna tick the one in the middle, SMB 1.0 CIFS client. You wanna tick this one and then click on okay. It's now gonna start searching for required files, wait for this to load. And then once this comes up, you're gonna click on restart now and then the problem should be fixed. 